Hey, I'm Irene the Queen and today I'm going to talk to you about something that may make the fellows a little uncomfortable. So if you're a fella and you want to leave now, that's okay. But then you saw what the title of this video is and you clicked it anyways. Today I'm going to tell you how to survive the first two or three days of your period. Now I know everyone's a little different. Some people have an awful first day and then it's fine. Some people have awful first and second day and then it's fine. Some people are just awful. Hey, this is another video on how to survive the first three days of your period. Oh, see, I just go to my friend's house. He's very good. I'm good. Pretty nice. He's very tolerant when I am have lost my mind. See, what I'm not tolerant of is when I come into these videos, my head is always <laughs> cut off. Look, I'm, I'm, even on my tippiest of toes, my feel, head is still not cut off. I feel like I need to be down here. Yeah, you do. I get How your come I'm so here? much darker than you are? Cause I'm a fake Mexican. <laughs> For those of you that don't know. Is that really your the topic? I am a Mexican. How to survive the first thing? It is. It really is. See, I feel like I should have a video for dudes saying how to survive the first two days. Please do it! Guys Who wants him to do it? No, guys would never click on that. If they wanted to survive, they might. It's be understanding. Mm -hmm. It's not always their fault. It's the truth. And just let them cry. I had five sisters. Um, sometimes I realized that uh, crying was just... Why are you so much darker than me? Because I am so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Truth is, it's just I'm really red. I've been in there working. Yeah. So it's a lot of work. But anyways, yes, anyways. understanding. Realize that's not always their fault. Mm -hmm. And uh, but having five sisters really did honestly help me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because where I've, I've, I have friends who have um, no sisters and they had no girl cousins, and then when they got married, they were just like, "What in the world? <laughs> no one told me about this." <laughs> I've had so. some friends whose husbands had brothers who just said that they're crazy and call them crazy, but you already feel crazy. So calling a girl crazy is the worst thing you could do when she already feels crazy. Mm. I actually came in here to ask you something. What'd you come to ask me? Um, did you want to go to Chicago for and vlog that whole um, hair thing? Yeah. That might actually be worth it. Yeah. 29th? Yeah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> every video. <laughs> no, I'm not her dad. Look, Look. there was a video where I came in and gave my wife a kiss and they said they thought I was her father. Look, I'm older than she is. Only by seven years. Seven years. I'm not her father. It's the beard. It's also the purple hair. Is it? The greatest thing that happened to me was I turned 28 this year. And or is it the height? I come in and you look like a child. Maybe. You could come in. So on my birthday, I come turned on. 28. What's happening? And I panicked because I've never <laughs> cared about my age until 28. And then I went into yeah. Hollister, and someone was like, um, are you at least 15? And I was like, looking at clothes, no one's talking to me. And he's like, excuse me, are you at least 15? And I was like, me? He's like, yeah. I was like, oh, I just turned 28. And he's like, girl, what are you doing? And I was like, I lotion. And then that was the best birthday of my life, because someone, someone thought I was 15, and I'm old and 30. All right, so she just needs to know. This I walked in on a video called How to Survive the First Three Days of Your Period. Yes. Oh, what you think? <laughs> So, step number Buy one. Diva my cup. <laughs> I'm not trying to know this yet. Why does a diva cup? You're going to want to leave. You don't want to know. I'm going <laughs> to leave this combo. Dang oh. it! Every time. This is a good time. Sad story is that my camera keeps overheating after only filming for like five minutes. I'm really upset that it's doing that. So the first thing I do is, if at all possible, wear bum clothes. And bum clothes are what somehow Aaliyah and I have ended up calling workout clothes. Yoga pants and a long tank top and whatever weather. Right now it's kind of chilly, so I wore this hoodie thing so I can curl up into a ball and pull my hood up if I need to. Wear comfy clothes to work or school if you can. If you can't, you probably have some comfy like schoolwork appropriate clothes. Another thing I did was came to work and whined to my best friend all the nitty gritty details as we girls tend to do. Sometimes for me, just getting words out and venting them to my friend it doesn't make you feel better, but it makes you feel a little better. Like maybe up here and not just uh, down here. Another thing that is super, super important is to stay hydrated because you know, you're losing a lot of fluid. You need to replenish it. Otherwise you're gonna feel a little woozy. It makes your headaches worse. So make sure you drink water. If you have a hard time drinking water, I have this new drink obsession of mine and I think it's called Spindrift, but I could be wrong. 
but I'll put the can right here if I can find a picture of the can because I can't remember the name. And I hate carbonated water, and I will be the first to say that I really hate LaCroix. They taste like someone burped in your face. Spindrift is carbonated water, and it's just juice. Like, I had one that's lemon, and it was just lemon juice and carbonated water. And then I had one that was tangerine, mango something. Grapefruit. It's grapefruit and lemon juice and water, and that was really good, so stay hydrated. I'm sorry about my daughter! I just LaCroix. said I went to work. I just got finished telling him LaCroix, LaCroix tastes like someone burped in your face. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> that the first thing I do on the first three days is never leave workout clothes. Oh, oh I can't oh. kick my leg that high. Here, I'm gonna work out clothes. Yeah. The second thing is go to work and tell your, or school, and tell your best friend all of the details and whine to them. That's true. Which it's I true. did. A lot of things happen behind closed doors it's here. true. Her husband's office is right in front of hers with the glass, and my office is like this, also with the glass, so sometimes we just duck on the side of his She door. just like peers <laughs> over and she's like, oh my god. And I'm like, oh my god. Oh, those husbands that we work with. Jake told them he has five sisters, so he's pretty good. Dave has no... Sisters, is he pretty good? Uh, I don't have average periods. Like, I don't have, like, only you know, lately. Emotional. Like, I'm not... <laughs> I mean, I think I'm just always emotional, so he does He doesn't. He just perpetually doesn't know how to deal with me. <laughs> um, actually, he does really good. And so, like, if I'm, like... So, we, we like this comedian, John Mulaney, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And so, there's a... A skit that he does where it's about, you know, his girlfriend's, you know, whining about her period or whatever, and then she goes, My stomach hurts! And then that's what I say every time. And then he knows, but like, don't bother me. Don't talk to me. Don't look at me. I actually have this specific pair of yoga pants that I'm wearing right now. They're, they have become between Jake and I and my period pants. Yeah. And then he knows if I'm wearing those pants, stay away. Oh. But it's like, the pants are tight enough so that. Boys, you're gonna want to yeah. go. If you're sleeping and you roll, you're That's, not gonna roll. You, they yeah. need to be tight enough to, you, you know. Or just bite. Yeah. I just, I don't know. Very rapey. <laughs> Very rapey. But it's a good time. One day okay. I'll try it. You should. Maybe. It's nice. I mean, it's not. like, I just don't know what you do. Like, when you wash it, if you're in a public restroom and you have to wash it, you like carry it out to the sink, <laughs> dump it out, rinse it out. Just, that's what I picture. And that is <laughs> Do your legs do that if you carry a, a thing full of blood? <laughs> Probably. Um, that's the only thing stopping me from trying it is I have that thought that we're on the, the road is, so much. I'm going to be in like a gross truck stop, like waddling to the but sink. But they last longer than tampons. So like that's you can good. have it in there like for like, it says like up to 12 hours. You had a, oh, that's the thing. Dang it, again it's overheating. It is? We'll come back later. This is going to be now vlog style for the rest of the video because I have things to do. I might hit the car. I will document. Dave, I crashed his truck. She never used to have cramps ever and I hated her. And then three years ago, we synced up to where now she accidentally has cramps. Not for long though, it's just like the day before. And it's not like, I don't know if it's cramps, it's just like discomfort of the uterus. The lucky duck. Although one time, she stayed the night at my house and I have those cramps that make you want to die and then I went like, they were so bad I went to the bathroom and puked and then she was a good friend and just like handed me water and didn't know what was happening. I've never experienced that before It's the life. worst pain. Sometimes there's days when you just have to suck it up, which is never what you want to hear, but you have stuff to do and you just have to force yourself to get out of bed and go. I have read many articles that say to not have any caffeine, but that's not happening, so do with that information what you will. I'm sitting in a chair because I'm exhausted and my space is a mess because I'm working and my lighting is different, but I don't hate it actually because uh, we're using my lights for the video. So I'm down to just one lonely, one lonely light which is bright and I just stared at it. I can't remember where I left off, so I'm just gonna keep going with staying hydrated. Super, super important because honestly, you're losing a lot of blood, so you need to stay, hi it's not gonna stay, you need to stay hydrated. There's that gallon, and the most I've ever paid for that gallon is like $1.40. Usually you can find them for like anywhere from 99 cents to like a dollar, well, dollar, dollar 40. I like to use that gallon and that Starbucks cup that you saw to make sure I get at least a gallon's worth of water in a day. I try to do that on a daily basis, but it's hard and it's not easy to do. Definitely on the first three days, keeping hydrated. Sometimes I'll peel a lemon and throw that into my cup and then just keep refilling water over the lemon so it has a nicer flavor. Cause you could do that with any fruit too. And having a straw in your Starbucks cup makes it so much easier to drink water. Another thing to remember, this is gonna be probably a little more jittery, sorry, is to replenish your iron. For those of you that eat meat, 
eat a lot of red meat the first three days. I've had a few burgers that I made with, uh, what did I put in it? Some seasonings and I put some shredded Parmesan cheese in the meat and then formed it into a patty and then made burgers out of it. It's been easy to just like warm up those patties and eat them with my hands because why can't a burger patty be a finger food? If you don't eat meat, eat a lot of spinach. I know there's a lot of other things that have iron, but I think spinach and red meats have the highest. So replenish your iron for sure, and that will keep you from being as exhausted. Even though you're still gonna be exhausted, but it's okay, eat those things. I just thought of a way, an easy way to get beef in, which I've been doing for the last few days, is getting beef jerky. I do try to stick with grass-fed most of the time, but sometimes it's not feasible. So better to have some iron in your system than not have any. So get some beef jerky, just try to be cautious of like wheat and soy. Soy is in a lot of beef jerky, but soy also messes with your hormones. So just be careful with beef jerky with soy in it. That's a good way to get beef in without having to cook it because sometimes I'm lazy and I don't wanna cook things and then I just eat beef jerky. One of the perks of working for yourself is that if I feel like I'm going to die, I go find a spot somewhere in the studio and I lay down for 20 minutes-ish just to get some energy back up. Uh, you can't really do this at school probably unless you go to the nurse's office, which is no fun or at your job if you have a normal job. Taking some time to just rest and lay in the fetal position is always really nice, especially if you have a heating pad or a rice pack to put on your angry uterus. How else do I survive? I also survive by watching sad TV and bawling my eyes out, depending on what mood I'm in. Sometimes if I'm really angry, I survive by going to a kickboxing class. Not on the first day, because it's the worst kind of thing in the world. Depending on your mood, finding a good time to either nap or cry or work out is good. Sometimes I try to be good, and sometimes I give in and eat whatever I want. Always gluten, corn, and soy-free, so I guess I eat a lot of haagen vanilla, and chocolate peanut butter ice cream as I'm watching Grey's Anatomy and bawling my eyes out. Sometimes I get those thermal packs, and those are lifesavers. If you've been around a while, you know that I try to do healthier, whole food, blah, 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 all that stuff. And I try to do as little chemicals as possible, except for makeup and hair, because do the best you can. But I almost always use either this brand of pads and tampons. This brand is called, I should know this, but I just buy it by its bag. Made in Italy, chlorine free, no pesticides, rayon, deodorants, dyes, or fragrances, which is a big deal to me because it, the chemicals are just not good for your area. I guess it's L dot or L period. <laughs> This brand, here's what the bag looks like. They also have cute little boxes of tampons, cute little bags of liners. They are chemical free, which is so important to the health of the ecosystem down there. If I don't use those, then I use, the name is gone. I can't think of it, seventh generation. I use seventh generation for my laundry detergent and my dish soap because it's really low on chemicals, but they do have a really good line of feminine hygiene products, which you can usually find if you have a Sprouts or a Whole Foods by you. If not, then, we have stores called Hi. Ah! Hi! What are you doing? Still talking about the uterus. Oh, okay. That's my belly button. <laughs> you look so cute. Oh, thanks. I'm gonna back away now. Okay. Thanks for doing my hair. You're welcome. Thanks for letting me do your hair. Okay, bye. I have not been on the L website, but Seventh Generation's website has a store locator, so you can check out that and see where they have them. But. Howdy! Yes? It sounds like it's reversing. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'm sorry. You're fine. Had I known you were filming for the world to see, I would not have called for you in such a high register. Dave has no high register, only manly tones. Yes, I do! <laughs> uh, are you guys ready? We're looking for a fan. A fan. The last time I saw it, Vince had it. For the rocks? Yeah. Yeah, that's last time I saw it. We have the weirdest workplace, probably ever. But it's a lot of fun. I haven't tried the Diva Cup, Ilya uses it. I'd have to see what kind of plastic is in it, honestly, before I thought about it. It still just seems like a mess, but gosh, this has been such an off, on and off video today that I don't remember what I've said and what I haven't said. Water, beef, spinach, sleeping, crying. It's okay to cry because your emotions are a roller coaster anyways and honestly if you hold it in it's gonna be worse for you. So it's better to just take some time, watch a sad show, listen to a sad song, bawl your eyes out hysterically, and then come back to the world ready to go and with no crazy pants face. Because I'll tell ya, <laughs> I can be a crazy pants face. And then the next day I wake up and I'm fine because I got everything out of my system that needed to get out of my system. Mentally and physically. Comfy clothes are nice. I don't really know where to end this, so I'm just gonna end it now. Fellas, if you've stuck around this long, you brave souls, be supportive. Let them cry on your shoulder and get mascara all over your shirt. And then the next day she'll be fine. And don't call her crazy, because that's the worst thing you could probably do is call them crazy or make fun of them for eating ice cream four days in a row. 
take them some ice cream or some chocolate. Nobody cares about flowers because all you want to do is eat. I don't know that I have more to say on this, but if you have any more questions, post them below in the comments and I will try to answer them. Let me know. I'm curious how, actually, I've, I won't know until I edit this, but I'm curious how it's going to go starting from like a pro YouTube video to like my vlogging camera video. So let me know what you prefer because I can do like on the move type of videos or I can do sit down and chat like this, but with a nicer setup and my nose not being so shiny. I thought that I would answer a question that I have still to this day Googled. Cause you know, you never know. You might learn a new thing or two when you look up how to survive the first three days of your period. Thanks for watching this weird video. I will see you later, probably in another video where I'm wearing the exact same outfit because we're filming a music video and I'm doing a behind the scenes type of thing. I don't want to smoosh these two videos together. So I'll be in the same outfit, different video, different time. See you later. Bye. Oh, also, if you like this video, subscribe and hit thumbs up. Bye.